Hello everyone, today we will learn how to get email notifications of new tweets on Twitter. So if you are a team who is handling Twitter and you want to send email notifications to your head about the every new tweet that you have shared on your Twitter account, then you have to use this automation because we can create an automation for every new tweet and then send an email about that as a notification. We can do that with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be the new tweet and our action will be to send email notification. Let us learn how to do that. So in this automation we will learn that how can you send an email notification to your head of team about the tweet that you have recently created in your Twitter account. So we will be doing this with the help of Pabli. Let us quickly sign in into our account. If you don't have an existing account click on sign up for free and then here by signing in I have reached the all application window where I can see Pabli Connect which we are going to use today to create the automation. Click on access now and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here you can see a big blue button on the right hand side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and then give it a suitable name. So I'm going to name it as send email notifications for new tweets on Twitter. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Over here you can see two boxes trigger and action. So trigger means an event that is going to take place in your first or trigger application and that is what you're going to do yourself. For example creating a tweet is going to be the trigger and then sending the email as a notification is going to be the action that will be performed by the action application. So let us open our trigger window and choose our application as Twitter. Once you choose the application as Twitter, you have to choose the trigger event and that is the new tweet. Okay. Now we are supposed to connect our trigger application to our Pabli Connect. Why? Because that is how the information related to the new tweet will be fetched by Pabli Connect and brought over here. So let's click on connect and then add new connection, connect with Twitter and the authorization will be done once you click on authorize app and it's successful. They are connected now. Now you have to click on save and send test request. Why? Because once you click on this button, it will start waiting for a response, which means it will start waiting for a new tweet that has to be created over here in your Twitter account. So click on save and send test request, go to Twitter and then create a new tweet. For example, here you can see what's happening. So Now this is a tweet that I have created, click on tweet and it's done. Okay. Now when you go back over here, you can see a new tweet has been created. See all the responses over here. This is the name of the account. So when you scroll down, you'll be able to see the description or the tweet as well. This is a sample tweet for Public Connect. That is what we added. Now once we have received this response, we will just save this part. Close this window because then we have to proceed towards the action application that is going to be Gmail. The event will be to send a mail. Click on connect and connect your Gmail to your Public Connect so that Public Connect has the access to your Gmail account to share a mail or send an email. Once this is connected, you have to fill in certain details over here. For example, the email address where uh, this mail will be sent then the subject the content so let us fill in how are you going to do this it's a process called mapping mapping is actually inserting the data from the previous step into the action step like this is the email address so click on the empty field and then it will ask you to insert data from the previous step so you can choose that data from this drop down menu over here but as you know that when we create a tweet in your Twitter, then there is no email address provided for that specific tweet. So you have to enter this email address that is the recipient one manually by yourself. Like you're working in a team and you have created a tweet because you are managing Twitter, but you want your head to check that mail every time or check that tweet every time. So you're sending your head of the team a mail as a notification. So I will enter the email address over here as now this is the email address where this notification mail will be sent. We'll check at the end of the workflow. Now sender name. So you can say team Pabli 
is the sender's name. Subject is new tweet. And then we are here to content. So it's an HTML or the plain. So it's a plain content. Then in the content, we will write dear sir slash n. Why slash n? Because slash n makes sure that whatever is written after n will come in the next line. Okay. So we will write as slash n. Then then again slash n and now you have to map the data from this only which data the message that is written in the tweet so what was the tweet this is a sample tweet this is here so you can do one thing you can put this in double quotes so that it's clear that this is the tweet that you're talking about okay slash n and then write regards okay now this format has been set now whenever this mail will be sent for every new tweet it will appear as dear sir this is a notification email for a new tweet on twitter please have a look the content of the tweet and then regards in the end this is done no file that is being attached no attachment also click on save and send test request and then wait for the response from the action application and here first it says done one is the value of done the result status is sent okay now this is the response type also so save this and now we will check our mail address that have we received a mail or a notification about this new tweet and team pably is here so when you open this you can see dear sir this is a notification this is what we wrote and then the message is in quotes now regards and this is the end so we have successfully sent an email notification for the new tweet that has just been created by you. So now let's do a quick recap. It was a very easy workflow. Our trigger application was Twitter. We created a new tweet, got the response over here, further transferred this to our action application that was Gmail, filled in the correct details and here we have the mail. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.